Hi, it's Corrine, and today I wanted to share this adorable birthday card with you. We are making a Smashbook page as well, but I just wanted to share with you about this new website that I have found. It's called Graphic Stock, and I will show you a little bit more about that. But I wanted to share this with you. This background paper of this of these roses, it's a gorgeous paper. This I downloaded from Graphic Stock, and same with this Happy Birthday. And this card literally took me five minutes to make. It's a five by five card. I printed out both this rose paper and this Happy Birthday sentiment from Graphic Stock, and then. I popped up the, gra the um, graphic here, the happy birthday on some chipboard, added a little bit of colored paper to the back, tied a little bit of twine on it, and added three little flowers. I mean, this was super quick to make. So I want to share with you what, gra what graphic stock is all about because you may want to use it for, like I'm using it, I'm using it in my Smashbook pages to make a quick card. Um, or scrapbook pages I plan on using it. My son also will be using it for school. He's in graphic design in school. So here's another little one that I printed out. They have tons to choose from. So let me show you what graphic stock is about because you might want to get the free seven day trial. They have a trial period that you can see if you like it and there's thousands of royalty free images to download. So I will show you about that and then we'll get started on the Smashbook page. So this is Graphic Stock, and they have a huge library of content available to download, and it's all royalty free. They have thousands and thousands of images to choose from. If you know what you're looking for, you can go over here to the search images bar and type in specifically what you're looking for, and it'll pull all those up. Or you can browse by category. So they have backgrounds, beauty and fashion, so on and so forth. My favorite is design elements and you'll see why they have tons of images that you can use for your Smashbook pages, scrapbook pages, even altered art. Um, whatever, whatever you want, they have tons to choose from. Like this one here I downloaded and I printed it off. I matted it on brown cardstock and put it in a beautiful frame and I gave it to my sister and she hung it in her kitchen and it is gorgeous. It is so pretty. Um, you can also search by most downloaded, under design elements, let me select that to show you several ones for that. And my son, who is in graphic design, he loves this. He uh, He's having a field day with it because you can pull these images like this here into Photoshop and add your own text, um, whatever you want to do. So there's lots you can do with these. Look at these vintage little cards. You can also um, use them in your silhouette. Like this one specifically here I downloaded and that heart that's in the middle, I pulled this image into my silhouette, I traced around that heart that was in the middle and I cut it out. So I printed it first and then I cut it out and it it's, makes a beautiful die cut for either a wedding card or a photo album. So let me just show you a few more of these. I have spent hours looking through these. I mean, there are just tons. Um, I saw a lot that I would have used if I had this when my son was in elementary school. There were a lot of his projects that I could have used this for. Look at these here you can use as papers. Those are gorgeous. I did download that one in the middle uh, that you see there with the roses, and that was for that card that I showed you in the beginning. So let me... Look at these here. Those are so pretty. They have a lot of weddings, um, or you can use them for your blog, YouTube, whatever you'd like. So let me just go up to the search bar, type in wedding. And it'll bring up everything wedding related. So let me show you this one here. Look how pretty that is. Again, you can bring that into whatever design program you use and alter it in any way that you'd like. They have beautiful um, imagery like this one here for if you wanted to send out wedding invitations or um, bridal shower invitation. So let me just pull up my 
images here and show you. These are some of the ones that I've already downloaded that I'll be using. That's the one I used for that card. I love that paper. And same with that one here, the happy birthday. That I used on my Facebook page, which I'll show you how I use that. I love that one. The owls are cute. And I use that one for my YouTube page. That I use for the Smashbook page that you'll see today. So as you can see, there's just tons. And these are going to make for great die cuts. So let me show you here. This is my Facebook page. And I did this background with one of those images that I downloaded and added my name to it. It was very simple. And same with my YouTube page. Here's my YouTube page. That flower is one of the images I downloaded and I added my name to it. So not only will I be using it for cards and creative purposes, but you can also use it, like I said, for your blog or whatever you'd like. So I will put the information in the description box below if you're interested. They do have a seven day free trial. So go and download some images that you can play around with in your Smashbook page as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish on the Smashbook page.